Patch You Tuesday. I'm Sam and this is Melanie and we are owners of the Pick and Patch in Stanley, New York. Today's how-to is how to cook squash. We grow a number of different varieties of winter squash at the Pick and Patch. The first one we're going to talk about is Buttercup. Buttercup. I can tell it's Buttercup because it has a bit of a navel. I remember because it kind of looks like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So. <laughs> Whatever helps you remember. That's Buttercup. Butternut is the one that is shaped with kind of the bowl at the bottom and is kind of a creamy color. We also grow Delicata. That's my favorite. It comes both orange striped, green striped, um, and... We also have spaghetti squash. That's the yellow, just oval one. And we grow two different varieties of acorn squash. Carnival and table ace, but they're, they're cooked almost um, the same. So these are the types of squash that um, we have available and that we're going to show you how to cook today. The other kind of squash that we grow are Blue Hubbards, which is this big, heavy, beautiful, kind of gnarly squash. And then Long Island cheese, which they call an heirloom variety. Um, I know it's a bit deceiving because it has cheese in the name, but um, it is a squash, and I'm told it makes really wonderful um, pumpkin pies as well as the, the pie pumpkins. Remove the stems, and then they can be very slippery to hold on to, so you carefully kind of score it a little bit, and then you'll cut it in half. Okay. You'll notice inside are the seeds. You scoop those out. I'll scoop these Sometimes I just cut a little bit of the edge off of one side so that it lays more solid. And you can see the seeds inside. So the squash can be cooked. Um, you can also do variations on how you cook it. The butter cup, I traditionally will peel like you would peel a potato and then boil it and then mash it up. Um, you can also do that with butternut or you can cook butternut the traditional way and then mash it. So I'm going to go ahead and peel the butter cup. part of the pulp and we'll get ready to bake them. Place them face down in a cookie sheet with a little bit of water and you want to make sure during the baking process that you're checking to make sure that there's water in the pan. Now I'm going to show you today how to microwave squash. Any of these squash can be microwaved. We're going to do the acorn squash. Again, face down in the pan. We're going to add a little bit of water. Okay, I'm going to put the acorn squash in the microwave. Out of the door. Thank you. I'll turn the turntable off. And then we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Our squash has been about 15 minutes. We're going to check it. So I just pierce it with a fork like I would a potato, and that's really good. It's nice. The fork's going in nice and easy. So now we're going to drain this. All right, so once the squash is drained, I'm going to put it in, transfer it into another bowl to mash it up. So I'm just using a masher like we use to mash our potatoes. I usually add just a little bit of milk to make it smooth. So now that the acorn squash is cooked in the microwave, I'm going to take it and carefully, because it is so hot, turn it over on the plate. Now these you can serve just straight in the shell. You can just 
walk one of these on your plate and eat it right out of the shell. I'm going to check the squash. Oh, that's nice. Gets us right through. So now that it's done, I'll remove it from the oven. Carefully, because there's still water in it. You can see, you just take a fork, and as you pull it away, it looks like strands of spaghetti. Hey, come in here, girl. It's hard when it's hot. Look at this. How incredible is that? And this is just from half of that spaghetti squash. Oh, yummy, that looks. Now that we have all our different varieties of squash cooked, we're going to do my favorite part, the eating. The eating. All right, this is the spaghetti squash, and we tend to like it different ways. I'm a bit of a purist. I like just a little bit of olive oil, and I like to eat it like real spaghetti, so I put some marinara sauce on mine. I also add just a pinch of salt cracked pepper. But you can experiment, you can use garlic, you can um, vegetable it up even more, you can use um, Italian seasoning, uh, pesto, whatever you prefer. Oh, that looks good, Sam. I'm going to taste mine. Again, this is the spaghetti squash. You know, there is a little bit. A little bit of difference in the 
texture. And the, but they're both delicious. Wow, I didn't expect that much. Yeah, and these are the ones that we cooked in the microwave. You really oh, yeah. can't tell the difference. Oh. Not at all. And then the delicata, which has been a favorite of my children since we opened the pack. <laughs> I'm gonna try it without anything first. Oh, oh that's just so good though, Sam. Wow. That is so good. I like just so the dairy farmers. I don't even know what one is my favorite. Oh yeah, that's good too. I used to think that this one was always my favorite, but I haven't tasted them all at the same time. It is amazing when you do all. taste them at the same time. The difference in the textures of them and the flavor, while it's all very similar, it's, it's a little bit different. Mm. Tasty. So there you have it. All the different kinds of squashes that we grow with the pick and patch. Easy to make, easy to fix, delicious, and healthy to eat. Bon appetit! <laughs>